If you're looking to stay consistent with your brand, then that means you need your brand fonts on your website. So today I'm breaking down how to add your brand font to Squarespace. Hi and welcome back. If you're new here, I'm Kristen Fulci, the brand strategist, website designer, and commercial photographer for creative small businesses. Today, I'll be showing you how to add your custom brand font to your Squarespace website. So once you've logged in, you're gonna go ahead and look over here at this left-hand menu and we're gonna click the second option called design. Once we're there, we'll go all the way to the bottom click custom CSS. And even though this is coding, I promise it's not scary. It's as easy as copying and pasting. So you're gonna go to the description below this video and copy that code that I have there. And go ahead and paste it into the back end of your Squarespace site. So right here, right where the cursor's at next to the one, we're gonna go ahead and hit command V. So we've got the little bit of coding in there. Super easy, right? So the next thing that we're gonna wanna do is upload that custom brand font. So whether you've bought that font from Creative Market or Etsy or anywhere, right? Make sure that you are able to locate that file, whether it's on your desktop or a folder that you know, because we're gonna go ahead and upload that right now. So you're gonna click Manage Custom Files right here, and then we're gonna click Add Images or Fonts, and you're gonna navigate, find that on your desktop, make sure you've got the right file, click on it, and then click Open. And so now we're uploading it, we've got it into Squarespace, and once it's in Squarespace, Squarespace gives it its own unique URL. So we need to tell the code where to find this custom brand font. Right now, there's nothing next to the URL. So in between those two parentheses, that's where we're gonna want to add that custom URL. So we're gonna click there and just get our cursor to start blinking right in between the two apostrophes. Then we're gonna click back to manage custom files and click on the font that you just uploaded. Once we click it, it's gonna automatically populate that custom URL that I was talking about. So now this little snippet of coding knows exactly where to grab that custom brand font. It's saying, hey, you already uploaded it and I know where to find it. The next thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to change the font name. So right here, it's referencing Quentin. As you can see, it's referencing it here as well as down here. So obviously you didn't upload a font called Quentin. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and change that to whatever your custom font is called. Just to make sure that when you do change it, you change it to say exactly what this font file says, spelled the exact same way. So you'll literally just highlight, click, hit backspace, and retype it out while still keeping those little two apostrophes right there. The other thing that you might want to change is you might want to say, hey, I don't want this as heading two. I want this font to be heading one or heading three. And it's literally as easy as just hitting backspace and typing a three or typing a one. We're going to go ahead and leave it as two so I can show you how this all looks on our website. Once you're done changing that little bit, you're going to go ahead and hit save up here in the left-hand corner um, and we'll go back to, to design. Just kind of put that whole little side away and we scroll down here. We can now see Quentin and it is all formatted to heading two. So it has the heading two color and we've now got our custom brand font up on our Squarespace website. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next time.